We are set for five rounds. The championship at 155 pounds. Michael Chabello, Pat Milicic with you on Access TV. Southpaw starts, as always, for Notorious Nick Newell. He starts off with some solid leg kicks, Pat. Newell said he worked a lot on his kicks for this fight. Neil trying to muscle his way and get Eric Reynolds onto his back. There's a high left round kick from Nick Newell. Overhand right from Newell and Reynolds fires back with a right hand of his own. High left round kick from Newell. Nice exchange there against the cage. Reynolds is setting that right hand. Neil tries to catch the kicking leg. Trying to lock onto his arm there. Got it locked. See what he does with it. Oh, suplex! Oh, it's a back suplex there from Nick Newell and takes it back of Eric Reynolds. This is where he needs to keep Reynolds. He's got that hook in, one in. Now he's got the other one in. Let's see what he can do with it. This is danger for Reynolds. This is where Nick Newell is so good. There's the arm under the chin now. The hooks are in for Notorious Nick Newell. Is he on his way to a world championship? This is where it's an advantage because he can't get hand control on that shorter arm. He's pulling down on the gloved hand, but that's already trapped. Reynolds in trouble. Reynolds yeah, taps yeah. out. It's good night, Irene. The fairy tale comes true. Kid is happy. Unbelievable scenes. Nashville has gone into meltdown. Nick Neal has gone into ecstasy. What a moment. John Prisco there. He recognized the talent of Neal many moons ago. Support submission, that vice like grip. This is just an outpouring of emotion here. Here it is, he gets that locked around the body, brings him up for the suplex, puts him down and gets right to work. He stays tight the whole time, looking to put that hook in. Good job of sneaking it in. Reynolds is looking for hand control to strip the top hand, but there isn't one, so you can't pull it down. He's pulling on the glove one, the only one he can find, and it's trapped by the congenital arm. So he couldn't get anything free. That's where we talked about that, that arm, whether it was an advantage. Well, it certainly was in this particular position. Reynolds not able to find what he needed because it doesn't exist to get that control. Not even the jaws of life could have gotten Eric Reynolds out of that predicament. McNeil wanted the championship. He got the championship. And he went into absolute ecstasy. The childhood dream has become a reality. A young fan, Eli, who also suffered from congenital amputation of the left arm, who traveled all the way here from Kansas City, Missouri, Part of these celebrations with Team McNeil. This is not only a great moment in mixed martial arts, folks. This is a great moment in sport.